Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pittsburgh Vader. So we finished sanding up the roll cage and started to lay the plastic down to cover all the electronics and everything else inside. I'm going to lay the other side down, get it taped up, and then I'll be priming and painting it black. I'm not going to worry too much about the bases here. I didn't even sand them that well because I'm going to have to go back and wire wheel them down for when it gets welded because you can't really weld with paint on there. But the rest of it is good to go and I'm going to get that painted up. So that is two cans of primer down on the roll cage. It worked for pretty much all of it. I ran out right here on the back section. So I got two cans each. I got two cans of primer and two cans of black. So I'm gonna run to the store, grab an extra can of primer and an extra can of black. And I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna finish this up because I ran out of primer, which means I'm gonna run out of black. So I'm gonna get some more Come finish this up, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I got the extra can of primer and finished up that back section. So now I'm gonna go on to spraying it black. And there we go, the roll cage is painted black. I use just regular black engine enamel. 
and the whole thing's done took three cans uh, there's some drips and stuff but it really doesn't matter it's just the roll cage you're never gonna see it so that's it for now I left the garage open just to air it out because this stuff smells um, wear a respirator if you do it and start with the inside uh, if you notice on the time lapses I started on the first ready available area the first time I sprayed and that was the worst idea I could have done because then it was impossible to reach in there and spray all of that without bumping into this so just keep that in mind if you're spraying the, the cage just spray the inside stuff first and then come back to the outside and spray all of that just makes it a ton easier so while I let it dry, I'm just going to go inside, let this air out, and then I'm going to come back and remove the plastic after it's dried for a couple hours, and then I'll give you guys a walk around of what it looks like. Okay, got the plastic all off, roll cage is all painted, looks great, it's all dry now, and I missed a few little spots here and there, but I'll go back and touch them up whenever I can, but not too bad. Uh, pretty much the whole thing is covered and now I'm going to go back to the bases here and everywhere and grind them down to bare metal again because I'm pretty sure I found a welder to come. He's about 20 minutes away from me and he's a mobile welder who welds roll cages for rally cars. So we were talking to him and he seems interested in coming and welding it all up. So I'm going to get these grinded down and hopefully get him over here in the next couple of days so he can weld the roll cage in. And after, while that's going on, I'll be removing the ECU, which I already have unbolted. I just need to unclip it from the car. And we'll be sending that into a company who fixes and reprograms your ECU, have them send it back to us. And then hopefully, once we plug that back in, we'll be good to go. The car will start, we'll have the roll cage welded on, and we can finally put the kit back on the car and get it permanently bonded so I can start doing body work and other stuff like that, cutting holes for windows, and actually getting the car together. Okay, so I got most of the areas sanded down for welding, and I'm going to send the pictures to him so he sees what he's working with and hopefully he's able to do it we told him about the project and he seemed willing to just wanted to see what it was exactly before he committed so i'm gonna go send those pictures to him and hopefully i have a welder now so i will let you guys know what happens and that is it for this video thanks for watching